Hugh Mercer studied medicine at the age of 15, then opened his apothecary shop in Fredericksburg, Virginia, fought in the French and Indian War and the Revolutionary War, was a close friend to George Washington. You might not know his name, but you should know his story. By the age of 20, he was already a surgeon in Scotland, assisting on the battlefield for an uprising against the British in 1746. He was then hunted for months and escaped to the colonies. In 1756, he served as a British soldier in the French and Indian War, during which he was injured. With no supplies, he walked over 100 miles over 14 days to get back to his fort. He rose to the rank of colonel and developed a lifelong friendship with another colonel, George Washington. After the war, he joined many other Scots by moving to Fredericksburg, where he opened this apothecary shop and practiced medicine again. George Washington's mother, Mary, was one of his patients. Her house is right around the corner. He married and had five children. In 1776, war was back in his life again. He left his wife and children to serve as a general in the Continental Army. Mercer was at George Washington's side when he was crossing the Delaware to attack Trenton on Christmas Day. It became a great victory for the Continental Army and changed the tide of the war. Some people think that Hugh Mercer came up with the idea of crossing the Delaware River and surprising the Hessians on Christmas Day. But a week later, on January 3rd, 1777, the army attacked British troops at Princeton. Mercer was surrounded by British soldiers who mistook him for Washington. Outnumbered, he drew his saber and fought to his death. For giving his life, bravely defending the liberties of America, Hugh Mercer is a hero of history. history.